Butler now lives in Riga, the capital of Latvia. They will receive from the Italians. Superb at the net from Samilovs. Lupo, Samilovs double-handed push back, Nikolai digs. Through comes Lupo for the first point, and well done to the Italian pairing. So it's 1-0 early on. Lupo with the cap just slightly on the tilt. Oh, poor from Samanov. Smedin's just stood still and watched. And a disappointing start for the Latvians here in Sochi. The host city of the 2014 Winter Olympics were as far from snowboarding and the luge and the bobsleigh as you can get here. We're on the sand. It's boiling hot. Something going on just down near the dugout. Simply that's just restricted view for me. It's directly below where I sat. Into the net it goes. The Italian pairing and Lupo makes the first error for them to make it 2-1 to the Italians. Daniele Lupo, the Roman, six foot five. Samilovs can't block on that occasion. And it was with the spike. Nikolai. Mortona serves. Samilovs just pushes the ball past the number one Nikolai. Schmedins cross court, brilliant stuff past Nikolai, makes it 3 2. Yanis Schmedins looks really annoyed at the end, really frustrated. But that'll hopefully cheer him up a bit. He just cuts it left handed cross court. Samilovs to serve. Lupo over the top of Schmedes to the left-hand side, makes it 4-2. This, uh, this Latvian pairing, sorry, saw off the Polish pair of Kajiola and Shalankovic in the quarter-finals. They won there in three sets in 52 minutes. Make it 4-2. Latvians as we change sides. Nearly half a million US dollars won for Shamilovs. Just shy of 400,000 for Schmedins. This weekend we'll take him over the 400,000 US dollar mark, which no doubt his financial advisor will be delighted about. Just how to play it goes. Samilov's followed it all the way. It's four points apiece early on here in the first men's semi-final. It's the third semi-final of the day. We've seen success and failure on the parts of the Swiss pairs. The Italian girls made their way into the final. The only pair who had ever done so in the women's draw. As Isabel Ferrer said, most of the top teams in the women's section not here. Brazilians. The Americans have already gone out. Gary Cohen, and Summer Ross. Oh, huge power. He's almost landed in the sea as Lupo drove that spike. to serve, jump serve into Schmedins, didn't quite get the control he wanted, oh, four then from Lupo, confusion, Nikolai was stood still, wasn't expecting him to set the ball back across, he didn't really in the end, it was a terrible set anyway for the Italians and it brings Shamilovs. Oh, 
7-5 for the Italian team. Lupo will have a chance to make amends. Samilovs goes chasing, waits for the ball to hit the net, brings Schmedins into play, who spikes down the center of the court to make it seven points to six. The Latvians in the yellow, the Italians in the green. Left-handed from Schmedins, no mistakes at all. They've made five quarter-finals this year. Schmedins and Samilovs, mistake that time from Lupo. Makes it seven apiece. Samilovs just having something to say to Schmedins there. Who Wanders away in his own quiet style, 28 years of age, the younger of the two by two years. Nikolai Lupo can't quite make that play work. And it goes to 8 7. The lap end. occasion with the light gets the serve back eight points apiece straight into the net from Nikolai the danger for the Italians is they know this pairing IVB Tour champions 2013-2014 the Latvians they are magnificent when they get going. FIVB Team of the Year for 13 and 14. Going now. Ten, eight lead. Lupo, space created as Samuelovs came rushing forward. Well spotted by Nikolai Lupo and they just drop the ball into the backcourt. Lupo serves. Samilov's dropped to his knees, comes back with the spike, can't get over the top of Nikolai, but gets the point as the block goes out of play. 11-9 the score. Point away from the technical timeout. Janis Schmedins to serve. 95 tournaments on tour for him. Nikolai for Lupo. Cuts back to the right, out of play. 12 9 the score. The Latvian pair have the lead at the technical timeout. You have to feel they'll be very happy and very comfortable with what they've seen so far because Lupo and Nikolai, yes, they're very much in the game, really causing the Latvians very many problems. things through. The referee just saying something to them as well. Four seeds. So far this week. Straight sets all bar the loss in the first match against Lushakov. To 46 against Kitsilianos and Zupanis of Greece, the number 20 seeds to win in straight sets. From then on, it's been relatively plain sailing. Although now, by far and away, their hardest challenge is in the front of them. 12 10 on the score. The response from the Italians is straight away back from the technical timeout. 
Head to head, these two have played each other five times. Lupo and Nikolai lead that head to head. Oh, fantastic spiking from him. 13 10 the score. Each time that Nikolai and Lupo have beaten Shamilovs and Schmedins, they have been often quite a long way behind in the seedings. 12 and 5th when they beat them. The start as it goes to 13 11 in favour of the Latvians. 7th played 3rd for the gold medal at the Shanghai Grand Slam in 2014. 11 played 4th in the Jarmen Grand Slam in 2013. 7th played 3rd at Long Beach back in 2013. On all those occasions, the Italians won. Here, they're three points behind. Amazingly, the only time Shamilovs and Schmedins did win, they were ranked sixth, or seeded sixth, I should say. The Italians were seeded first, that was in Rome. So, the seedings are anything to go by. The Italians should win this. But it's 14-12, the Latvians currently have the lead. Off the net from the serve from Nikolai. Shamilovs, Nikolai's there once more, grabbing the point with the block, superstar. Such a tall player, so intimidating, six foot eight, and to intimidate Shamilovs is difficult to do. Nikolai waits to serve once more. Right-handed does so, just skimming the net. Yeah, sorry, 15-13 to the Latvian pairing. Six foot five, 96 kilograms, 13 seasons on the tour. Skims the net on this occasion. Lupo comes. Leaping through Satellev's left to his left and the ball went to his right. And <laughs> said the Schmedics look frustrated earlier. These two just look like they don't really want to be here at times and rather annoyed at each other. Is it that they know they haven't got the form against Lupo and Nikolai? We wait to see. Schmedins over the top. Nikolai responds well. Lupo digs. Nikolai through with a spike. Samilovs, oh, Messi from Schmedins, why did he do that? He had the support, the kick of the sand from Samilovs, the slap of the hands from Schmedins, these two not looking like they're getting along too well at the moment. Why did Schmedins do that? What a rush of blood to the head. Lupo serves. Schmedins takes the touch off Nikolai. Samanov wasn't going to make an error from there. The space opened up right by the antenna. Nikolai tried to get across. Just can't hit the antenna. It's 16-15, it took a touch off Nikolai. Down off Schmedin's just the fingertip of Nikolai was enough for, for Samilov. That's all he wanted. Oh, poor from Lupo. They run into each other. Lupo's going to have to deal with this from right in the back of the court. Schmedin's digs. Samilov's power, but not too much of it in the end. Nikolai will set up for Lupo. Off. Schmedin's and against the Italians. Well, interesting then. It was called the, the antenna of the Italian player. He it. and then went into the antenna. Yeah. has gone. Samlovs and Schmedins. Lupo's picked himself up a yellow card. He's on a wall. Nikolai's gone off. There's going to be a time now for 
line, look ready to calm down. 17-15 in the first. One of them got a yellow card. Nikolai's fuming. Lupo's eventually made into the bench. And there, boys. Get frustrated. Easy. Oh, that's the card across from Lupo. This is when life was a little bit better for the Italians. At well, that point, they sped it blocked. There's Nikolai blocking. Potential score was that one against the Italians. Senna hadn't come back from Samuel, but I think that's what the Italians do too. Schmedens waits to serve. Got a two-point lead. They need four points to take the first set. Nikolai, Lupo, up against Shamilov. Gets the point that time, 17-16. Medins, Samilovs, over the top, well saved by Nikolai, back up he gets, he can only dig defensively over the net, Schmedins with the set for Samilovs, Nikolai's there, out of play, it goes off the block, he turns as if to remonstrate, he realises he shouldn't. I'm not sure what he was going to remonstrate with, did he think he took a touch off Samilovs, maybe he did, it didn't though, it was wise not to raise the point with the referee. More service from Samuels, the change ends once more. It's 18 points to 17. The Latvians have the lead. The Italians have been frustrated and fiery, at times rightly so. Lupo to serve. serve with two points between them and the first set 11 podiums for this Latvian team win away in a match from guaranteeing the 12 win away this match from guaranteeing it if they win the semi-final or the full bronze medal match of course they get on the podium once more Nikolai cross court 20 Points now up for the Latvians. Brilliant from Schmedins. Samilov, Schmedins, up off Nikolai, out of play, just down in front of me. 21-17, the Latvians take the first. The team in yellow. To the Latvians in the end, they frustrated the Italians. The Latvians frustrated the Italians. Samilov and Schmedins, 21. Nikolai Lupo, 17. The first set of this first FIBB Sochi Open men's semi-final goes the way of the Latvian pairing, Nikolai and Lupo of Italy. Have to fight back and go to three if they want to do this. They want to emulate the Italian girls earlier. They're going to need to go to three sets for the second time in the competition. The problem is, the first time they did that, they didn't win anyway. They lost it three to the Russians. Here's the highlights of the first set. <laughs> Medins and Samilovs taking the time. 129 World Tour tournaments for Alexander Shamanovs, 95 for Schmedins. So much experience.
Smedins serves, gets us back underway for the second set of this first men's semi-finals. Well done, Shamilovs. And then Smedins just drives the spike to the wrong side of the left-hand sideline. Lupo. Schmedins, Samilovs jumps. The whistle goes and it goes the Latvian's way. One one the score. Samilovs brutal power in the end from him. Absolutely brutal. Sixteenth ranked team in the World Tour this year. Again, just picking up and that ball drifting out of play. 2-2 the score. annoyance on the faces of the Latvians now. Nikolai serves right-handed, six foot eight. The giant of this Italian team. Shamilovs goes crunching into the net. That's the point. Just hitting the net and past Nikolai. Schmedin serves. Nikolai digs, that's going to drift and bring Shmedin, uh, Shamilovs into play at the net. Super stuff from him with the block. 4-2 the score. And it's these moments of brilliance from Shamilovs that are making the difference for the number two seeds. Brutal, brutal stuff from Lupo. Oh, Shamilovs with a touch and then Shmedin's with the... Effort to keep it alive. Lupo just spinning the ball. A point behind. Schmedins, up he goes. Delicate. Lupo coming through. Schmedins at the net digs. Samilovs has to jump backwards, has to go delicate with the spike himself. And then Nikolai can be brutal with the spike just driven low and hard. Severing the defences of the Latvians. Oh, Nikolai, magic blocking from the big man. score. Your tone a native, under 21. Swatch FIVB World Championships, silver medal in 2006, gold medal in 2007. Samilovs, well saved by Lupo, gets back up. Just about keeps the ball alive, Samilovs does the same. Tries to get power in the shot, Lupo. Has the opportunity to do just that. And the Latvians eventually after a super rally, which was cheered by this Russian crowd. The Italians open up a narrow lead once more. 6 5 the score. Nikolai looks tired. Breathing heavily. Sends the ace. Tiredly and erratically out of play. Sorry, the ace, the serve it wasn't an ace. If it had been an ace, it wouldn't have been out of play. My apologies. Lupo. 
Lovely set from him, brings Nikolai in. And again out of play, and Nikolai, I said he looked tired, I said he was breathing heavily. These are two unforced errors in a row. And Schmedins has the chance to open up a two-point lead for the Latvian pairing. Nikolai sets for Lupo. Shamilov's at the nets there, like a brick wall. Six the score. Schmedins to serve. 28 year old from Kuldiga. Samilovs. Schmedins. No way round. Nikolai on that occasion. Nothing tired about that block. Lupo, Schmedins, Samilovs over the top. Oh, Nikolai diving down to the sand. the victory here in his time won the Rio Open last week of course these two so the top top four First set picked up 500 ranking points and 11,000 US dollars, which is exactly the same as the amount they will collect here should they win. On the line that time for the Italian pairing. 9 8 the score. Nikolai serves. Schmedins goes to the attack straight away and it pays off. 10 8 the score. Schmedins and Samilovs didn't need the three touches, they just throw straight in. Nikolai digs, Lupo jumping back, uh, Samilovs is there, forces Nikolai to dive down to keep the ball alive, he can't do so, 11-8 now the score. Schmedins will serve and Samilovs and Schmedins in this second set are coming alive. Nikolai sets, Lupo jumps over the top, Schmedins too far away, Samilovs can't do anything about that one. 9-11, points away from the technical timeout. Lupo to serve, he won't want the Latvians to go in with a three-point lead and a set lead as well. That will be where they're planning the downfall of the Italians. He doesn't have to, it's 11-10. The Italians are very much in this game, Lupo, Nikolai. They see Smedings make the error, head for the technical timeout. Nikolai's back drenched in sweat, he still looks so tired.
technical timeout, sending the ball out of play. The Italians come back on court. They're one point behind in the set, one set behind in the match. Shamilovs and Schmedins have gone from frustration to focus. Having won in Rio last week, they want to guarantee themselves at least a silver again this week. And that will be a lot of A money and B world talk and rank points over the last two weeks. It's piece now, though. For Nikolai. They weren't in Rio last week. Their last event was Olstein Grand Slam, where they finished 25th. Disappointing 160 points and $4,000 won Long Beach. Just before that, they finished ninth in the last 16. 12-11 behind. It's the form team here. But against form, of course, in the heads-to-heads. -heads. The Latvians have lost four from 1-1 one, one against this Italian pairing. Shannon, super stuff. Schmedin's back cross court with the dig. Through comes Nikolai. Schmedin saves. Is it in? Yes, it is. What a save that is from Janis Schmedin's to claim the point and make it 13 11. Samilov serves. Nikolai. Lupo coming through over the top of Schmedins. Out of play, 14-11. And the Latvians once more stretching away. Three points now the difference. Timeout's being called. I think here that Nikolai is losing focus. He looks so tired, he buries his head in his hands. He's struggling to keep pace. I call them the lively Latvians. He's struggling to keep pace with Yanis. Alexander Samilovs and Smedins. They are such a powerful but energetic pairing, the Latvian pair. And at the moment, they're seeing off these Italians by pushing them right to the limit of their physical abilities. Samilovs doesn't need a break, he's up and ready to go. Last night, just stood down by the court after the. End of play, watching some youngsters enjoying the game, and out came Alexander Shamilovs and exchanged some banter with them and gave them a few tips before heading off into the night. Great to see from such a star player. Picking up a point in the important point. And Schmedins did go to the World Championships this year. The Italians did. They finished 17th overall, picking up 400 tour points. Disappointment for Nikolai. He just overcooked it on the serve. 15 12 now the score. Just six points away from the victory, and it'll be a relatively quick victory if the Latvians can close it out. Schmedin serves. Lupo. Samilovs dropping back, digs high, Schmedins. Lupo, Nikolai digs and Lupo will come through. Schmedins gets up. Oh, well saved by Nikolai. But the Latvians still in control and there's the point, 16-12. And they know with every point they claim here unanswered by the Italians that it really is a mountain to climb. Lupo with the reverse. He then wasn't set, Nikolai was working his socks off behind. It was unneeded, though. Reddins holds on to the serve. Nikolai, Lupo. Beating the position of the... Latvians on that occasion. And still gasping for air, Nikolai. Hasn't looked comfortable right throughout.
Smedins. Nikolai jumped. Couldn't get close in the end. Shamilov serves. Lupo. Nikolai sets. Oh, Schmedens again, magnificent to the net. 18-13. This Latvian pairing beat the English pair of Jake Sheaf and Chris Gregory, the number 15 seeds, 21-8, 21-14. They're currently 18-14. Clear in the second here. It's 33 minutes against the English pairing. Nikolai serves powerful into the dig of Shamilov who drives the spike through Nikolai. 19-14 the score. Nikolai lost his cap in the process on the top of the net. And Schmedins just needs two serves, two points in any way to win the match. Now it goes from Shamilov, who falls to the turf, frustrated and annoyed with himself because that was a simple, simple error to make. And as the sun just moves around the sky now. The shadows will change. Shamilovs picks up match point. They change once more. But it will be no doubt for the last time. The Italians have been outclassed here. Nikolai out four to pushed physically. Six foot eight frame to carry around and he's Really struggled here. Nikolai Lupo over the top of Schmedic. Out to play it goes. They survive for one more point, the Italian pairing. But I can't see them emulating Orsi Top to Martin and Gatti. I think these Italians are going to end up playing off for bronze. It will, of course, be their first medal of the year. Into the sand it goes, 2017. So it will be their first uh, medal of the year if they can win bronze. It will be the first time they've played off for bronze this year. And there we go, it's out. Shalomovs and Schmedin celebrate. They've won 2-0, 21-17. In the second set, 21 17 in the first. That's what it means to Shamanov's FIVB team of the year for 2013 and 2014. A ring to the final. Who will they face? We wait to see. Shamanov's and Schmedin, though, there's confirmation 21 17, 21 17. And make it in just under 40 minutes. I'll wait for an official time, though. The Lion King was superb. They looked annoyed to start with. They turned that frustration and annoyance into sheer class in the end. Congratulations to the Latvian pairing. This is how it finished. Nikolai, six foot eight. Shamalov's let it go. It was right to do so. Coming up after this one, we will have the second semi-final. It will be between Krasilnikov and Semenov of Russia, and Luchena and Dalhauser of the USA. We wait to see who can make it through to the final from there. Patricia's down on the sand with the victorious Latvian Congratulations, pair. guys. You finally beat the Italians again. Yes, because... When I play with Alex together, we have a very close match with the Italian guys and always they play a little bit better. Even we played good last year in European champ, still they were two points better than us and yeah, it, 
it's a big victory for us, I think. How did you manage to go around that big block by Nikolai? Yeah, it was just uh, before match, like not only before this match, we know we played many matches against this block, but we just know that you shouldn't hit under yourself, so hit a little bit higher, because you, you really have a good, uh, good block, and uh, so it's a key point was if you hit hard, so we hit higher fingers. Any preference towards your opponent in the final? I don't know, we'll see, because the wind is coming like around all the time. Which team will feel a little bit better win, that will win. I hope Russians will win. We like to play against Russian. It's and funny, here, yeah. here in Sochi, it will be f perfect for them also. Yeah, we're practicing a lot together on tour, so we know each other very good and it's always fun to play against each other. Good luck tomorrow, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, there we go, Samilovs and Shmedins want to face the Russians. That's who they fancy in the final. What they do know is they put their place in the final. The Russians haven't yet. We'll have that one later on for you here in Sochi. Congratulations to the Latvian pairing, eventually winning 21-17, 21-17. They make it 4-2 head-to-head against the Italian pairing. For now, though, the Italians, Lupo and Nikolai, have to go into the bronze medal match. The Latvians and Samilovs and Smedins, they get to play off for potentially their second gold in two weeks. We'll be back with plenty of action from the Sochi Open. But for now, it's goodbye.